find a fault rather than tear the boat apart. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat How To. We're Nigel and Jan and we're answering your questions about your electrical systems on your boats. So here's today's question. I have a 2003 boat. This past summer, when we went to a marina, I was told there was a significant ground fault. This spring, I had a marine electrician look at the boat. He found excessive neutral ground voltage drop of 6 to 7 volts. And he also found excessive 15% loss of line voltage when testing a 15 amp load. He told me that he would have to tear the electrical system apart to find the fault. Do you have any recommendations or resources that I could review to find the problem myself? Well, our courses. <laughs> well, yeah, um, we don't have enough information here to, mm -hmm. to really address this, but we have some clues. There's obviously some, some sort of an issue here. Uh, the, this is an American built boat, must be because of 120 volts. Mm -hmm. It's probably a, um, an American split phase system where you've got a 240 volt input mm -hmm. and then you have 220 volt legs. And then uh, uh, grounded through the neutral, and, and they, we've got excessive voltage drop in the system. Uh, and then uh, again, when they, he's got some kind of a probably a volt drop tester that he just plugs into an outlet, and and it can load it up and tell you, did you got this 15% loss of voltage? So so there's something going on here. The bit that interests me the most is that he's going to have to tear the boat apart to find a fault. Mm -hmm. uh, Any time an electrician tells you it's going to tear the boat apart, find a fault. There's, there's a problem here. We can figure out what the fault is with a whole a lot more easily just by using some meters and doing a whole bunch of testing. So I, I think the bottom line here is that whoever the boat is needs to find somebody that's willing to do the testing and, and find a fault rather than tear the boat apart. And tearing the boat apart, you're just as likely to hide the fault and then not be able to find mm -hmm. it. No. And there's going to be some fairly simple tests that can be conducted here to figure out what the fault is and also where the fault is. And then the fix is going to be relatively cheap. No. Yeah, that's actually, I mean, if you're willing to spend a, time, a bit of time on that yourself, I mean, we do have quite a bit of troubleshooting material at yeah. boathow2.com as well. Uh, as a bonus lesson to Boat Electrics 101, actually, and also as part of our uh, advanced marine mm -hmm. electrics courses where it's actually about AC systems. So... Yeah, I mean, tearing the boat apart seems a little bit of an overkill. So this, this could be as simple as a poor connection in the neutral mm -hmm. connection in the shore power core. Yeah. That would explain many of these mm -hmm. symptoms that we've got right here. And, and my guess is at the end of the day, it's probably, it's not going to be undersized wiring or anything. The boat was presumably wide okay to start with. Mm -hmm. It's going to come down to a poor connection somewhere in the, in the shore power yeah. side of things. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if you want to learn more and actually go into details how to fix things like this yourself. Check it out at boathow2.com. And until then, see you next time. And thanks, Nigel. You're welcome.